Virtual Reality 360 TV. Hi YouTube, welcome to this uh, demonstration video on how to stitch Samsung Gear 360 footage that comes directly out of the camera using Color Auto Pano Video. Right, okay, let's get started then. So I've actually got Auto Pano Video open here, and as you can see, it's asking me to drop the videos in this window. So let's open up this. Right, what I've done first of all, this is the particular video that I want to stitch together. Now the first thing you have to do is make a copy of it. Uh, so let's select that, select that and drop that into the main window okay um so it's pulled the two videos in so we've got basically got four videos there we've got the front lens back lens and then we've got the copy of the front and back lens right first things first i'm just going to move the video over in the timeline a little bit because what i find if you do that it gives it a little bit of a better stitch right so the next thing is click on here stitch at the top um it defaults to this 2-2 uh, template which seems to be okay so we'll just le leave that on that for, for now and click stitch right okay so it's now stitching the video together and it looks awful at this point it, it's done its best I suppose but it's basically trying to stitch four lenses together and that's what it's come up with so we're going to edit that and what that does is opens up auto panel giga uh, software that comes with auto panel this basically is the stitching software and you can do stills with this as well it's a lot easier to do stills by the way than video so we'll click on edit all right and there's the stitch now i've got to warn you guys as well that using this software is not as quick as using the action director that comes with the samsung gear 360 camera this is a little bit more hit and miss it takes a lot of playing about with and it's not as straightforward but the results you get if you pair a fear with it are far superior so um so anyway right let's um let's take a look how you do it then so the first thing first is click on your image properties now the software has recognized a, a focal length of 7.43 which is okay it seems to work you can try changing it 7.8 I've seen some guys on YouTube do that and it works fine it auto detects that it's a fisheye lens which is correct so we don't really need to do anything with that next thing is go on to the circular crop go on to the first uh, drive video now what I want to do is highlight this front lens here on the left so it's basically line it all up it doesn't have to be perfect that looks about right next one is the copy so we got to move over to this lens which is the rear of the camera it can get a bit confusing at first when you're first doing it because you're kind of thinking oh which lens am I am I highlighting here but after a little bit it just becomes intuitive so that's okay so we've got that one and that one and we'll go with that okay so it stitched it a little bit better but it's far from perfect okay the next thing we do is we use this control point editor to stick some control points in okay so highlight the two videos now what it's done to create that stitch which is a bad stitch it's put the control points in automatically but it's put them in everywhere which we don't want so we need to remove them so it's basically just highlight and delete okie doke right okay so at this point i'm going to put some control points in i'm going to put the control points in this image which is the rear of the camera of uh, the first video and the front of the camera on the second video right okay so I'll start on this side select up to there and to there and let's see if it will find some control points it normally does but as you'll see they're all red 
okay red is bad green is good by the way so it takes a little bit of work in but we'll try and get there so let's put some control points on this side and some more control points on this side right okay plenty of control points but at the minute they're all useless because they're completely red so after everything you do on here you've always got to remember to do a quick optimize okay it's sort of a few issues out but not much right still looks terrible okay so at this point what I normally do is if you click on this control points editor down here it gives a list of all the control points um, so what I do is I filter the RMS control points out so it filters it so the high number is at the top now a high RMS number is a bad stitch so we basically want to remove all the high numbers up until about five maybe or six or five let's go down let's say there and delete okay and let's uh, quick optimize again I mean we, we do need a lot more control points than that but let's just go with it for a minute right at this point what you can try and do is click on the on this little move tool and try and straighten it up a bit um, no, we, we just haven't got enough control points to be working with it to be honest at this point so let's go back on to our editor let's go back to control point editor and we'll try and stick some more in and quick optimize some more on this side quick optimize no oh. Sorry, I forgot to put it on the other side. My fault. Okay, quick optimize. Let's put load more in that side and load in there. Right, so it's pretty bad at that point still. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a play about with some of the settings on here okay keep current value distortion uh, let's try and put that to first order mm, doesn't like that really let's just undo that don't optimize try that optimize okay so it's looking a bit a little bit better so we go back to our control point editor okay so plenty of green ones there which is a lot better than it was before so let's optimize that let's go back to the control points filter it out so the high ones are at the top and let's remove some of these down to about what about there and quick optimize again let's remove a few of them bad ones and that one okay quick optimize okay we're going to have to put a few more control points in on this side so try that okay that's looking a bit better let's uh, filter out some of these get rid of the bad RMS ones really like I said the, the high numbers So about there. Quick optimize. Let's have a look at the stitch now. Let's get our move to straighten up the 
landscape a little bit. The horizon rather. Okay, so that is not too bad actually. That's not too bad at all. Right, let's preview that. Okay. Let's get that in the middle. Let's preview it. It doesn't look too bad to me, that. Looks a lot better than what it did. Um, let's just save that. Um, let's just, oops, maximize that and let's just run that, see what that looks like. Although it's a little bit dark on the left side and, and there, but you can't really, it's a pretty good stitch I would say, you can't really see a join in the cameras which don't forget when you know when you upload something like this to YouTube or you view it in a 360 viewer it, it looks a lot better as well well not as sharp but you know the 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 lenses blend in more I should say okay so that looks okay to me so let's uh, minimize that let's stop that let's uh, Let's just make sure we save this project. I'll just call this drive. I should have done it before really, but it doesn't matter, I suppose. So the project saved. Um, let's close that down. Let's go back to the edit window. Right saying it needs optimizing again so let's just try that okay -doke. so we've got an rms value of average of 2.76 which isn't bad that's pretty good to be honest so let's save that quick preview save the project and we're done at this point what I'm going to do is I'm just going to render it just to um, show you what it looks like in 360 okay so let's just go to uh, render I won't go through all these uh, options they're pretty self-explanatory so we're just going to do 4k at uh, 30 or just under 30 frames a second so 29 and seven apply that go back to render and we'll render that out okay so that's gonna take it's gonna take about six or seven minutes so what I'll do is um, I'll sh obviously shorten this video clip down so it'll speed the process along so you're not watching a status bar okay so um that's all rendered uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to open up this uh, gopro uh, 360 viewer uh, this is the it's a free vr player that you can download from the gopro site so yeah and it's pretty handy um so let's um okay just drag that in Okay, so as you can see, um, that's stitched fine. Um, it, it's not too bad at all. It's probably not perfect, but it, like I said, it, it's something that you can sort of keep going back to and tinkering with your template just to get it right. Um, sorry about that, my phone. So yeah, um, that looks fine. And like I said, it's, it is much better than, than what you get out of the Action Director. The resolution is much clearer. Yeah, and you're basically getting more out of your camera by using this. 
Um, and there we go. There's a drive through Liverpool. There's the famous Liverpool Liver Buildings. And there is a new statue of the Beatles over there somewhere. Okie doke. So let's close that down. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you now how to create uh, a new project. How to quickly um, stitch another project together by using the template of the previous one that we've just done. Right, so let's just get some files in. Um, so here's another like little country drive one that I've done. So that and that. Basically, what I've done with um, with this, I just I bought myself a mount uh, for for the car and put the gear three sixty on top of the mount to see what it looked like, and it's come out pretty good. Right, uh, so let's stitch this together. Let's move that along the timeline. Uh, click on stitch. Now, at this point, what we'll do is we will select a template panorama, and there's the previous one. Uh, the city drive Liverpool city drive select that now it'll stitch this together using um, that template so there we go so it's there so let's uh, let's view this okay so see how quick that that is one once you've actually created your template um create another video is super quick um and again if this is you know put into a 360 view it, it would look fine i mean there's still a couple of issues but i could spend longer on it you know tinkering with that template and getting it right but once it's just right then the process is really really quick um and you can you know use the software to stitch any any 360 camera really uh, not just two lenses if you want to be adventurous and try it with a Go, gopro rig with six cameras you can do that um but you know once you can do it you can do it so to speak right well that's the end of um this tutorial so thanks very much for watching don't forget to comment below um and like and subscribe would be great and stay tuned for the uh, for the next video. I'm probably gonna do one with stitching stills. Um, I'm also gonna do a couple of um, Unity uh, 360 videos as well. Okay, dog. So thanks very much, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.